Andrew's on this kick for me to become an influencer, which I, um, I'm actually having a lot of pushback on just because I feel like people who are influencers are not real. <laughs> And that drives me nuts. No one has a perfect life. I for sure don't have a perfect life. I just try to find the best in what is going on in my life. Um, and I push through all the trials and tribulations by holding on to the positive. So with that being said, I told him, well, I'm not cleaning the house. I'm not doing my hair and makeup. And I said, I do have content because I'm going to be reviewing our food journal, our challenge. And I said, you know what, I'll start with that and then we'll just kind of see how it goes. So if I'm looking at my phone, it's not because I'm avoiding you or trying to be whatever. I just didn't want to go and print it off and waste a piece of paper when I have it on my phone. So let's go ahead and talk about everything that we got going on in the one week. So it's one week, seven days. You literally can do anything for seven days. And this is not just... Um, just food, okay? Um, I've had individuals do this challenge in the past where they did just boring food and they were not successful in even being able to complete it in a week. I want you to have fun with the food. I want you to um, Google recipes. I want you to figure out how to incorporate this and in potentially into a lifestyle. So um, the winner, I have a $100 gift card on here. Because of so many entries, we might be changing it up. So um, first place winner will get $100, might be a gift card to Lulu. Uh, we'll talk about the gift card uh, once the week is getting closer to an end. It is important for you to make sure you're honest, okay? So there is a scorecard at the end of the document. You will want to uh, print it off so that you can look at it. There's also going to be um, several opportunities for extra credit and you won't know what those extra credit things are until the day of but don't worry they're typically not food related and they're typically lifestyle and or um, be nice to yourself related um, okay so let's go over the food and if you hear the scratches that's bare I'm not gonna get up I'm not gonna take this with me this is this is life, this is life. Okay, so food journal. Um, you will need to track everything, every single thing that you put in your mouth. Doesn't matter if it's liquids, if it's gum, every single thing that you put in your mouth, I need to know about. Um, people often ask me, is it easier for me to text you or email you? Honestly, you can do either or. The one I prefer the most is texting because then I can have a live conversation with you immediately after I get your food log um, or just your daily log. I shouldn't say your food log, but that way I can give you feedback and I can actually have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. With emails, it's hard to generate and curate that relationship that is actually very necessary in order to be successful in this. So I guess I should take a time out and talk to you about what is the difference between this and every other challenge that's out there. Um, the difference is me and the difference is the OGs that are here to help me make you successful. Uh, most of the time you don't send in your food logs every night. Uh, most of the time it's not seven days. Normally it's seven or 30 days. So with this one, what you're looking at is you're getting actual, real feedback, and it's not like criticism. I mean, I'm only here to support you and help you navigate through your day and help you plan accordingly to your challenges. Like That's what we're here for. We're here to support you and help you call out the positives. Maybe you had a cheat meal. Um, and instead of getting like down and hard on yourself, what I wanna do is help you recognize how amazing you did do at navigating through that cheat meal. So that's the difference. You're, you're joining a community, you're joining a team. Um, there are several of us that do this as a lifestyle, uh, whether it's frequently or if it's only every seven days whenever we call out this challenge. So that's the difference. It's real, it's um, clean eating, it's not restrictive to your calories, and you're getting one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or one of my OG coaches that uh, I will introduce to you here uh, on our page. Okay, so let's go over the points and accountability. It is completely up to you to be honest. 
you could lie the entire time in order to win $100, but at the end of the day, you're not going to um, gain anything from that except for $100, which if that's how you're going to play, I'll just give you $100 and you can go on your merry way. So five points for a clean meal. Um, that's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So there are three meals, um, and it's five per each meal, and it's a limit of 15 points for that per day. Um, we'll go over what clean eating means here in a little bit. Three points for a clean snack. So you get three snacks a day, um, mid-morning, afternoon, and post-dinner. Uh, if the snack is not clean, you get, do not get your points. And remember, it is a limit of nine points per day. You earn three points per day for your workout. So you, we'll go over the workout um, information here once we get to the workout section. And then you get five points per day for drinking over or up 64 ounces plus of water. Uh, you get five points if you sleep at least seven hours per night. And then this one has been added. Uh, you will earn three points for taking time to be intentional in prayer, meditations, or moments of gratitude. Um, this must be done at least one time per day, but it is a limit of three points. Uh, in the past, I have not included that. Now, the reason that it is important to me is I want to teach all of you how to have that attitude of gratitude. And on top of that, I will never push a religion or a God on you. So um, that is why I believe that prayer or meditation or just speaking it into the universe, um, manifesting it, whatever it is that you're struggling with, you know, just talking out loud to yourself, uh, calling on your higher power, whatever that may be, um, it is included in this. I think it is very, uh, it is needed in order to have a successful and well-rounded life. Okay, so let's go over the drinks. Of course, I'm going to push water. Like I said, water, water, water. Sparkling water is fine. Uh, no sodas. No soda. You can do it one week. No soda. No diet soda. No, no sodas. Uh, the only thing that is approved is Zevia. Z-E-V-I-A. Uh, green tea, iced tea, as long as there's no sugar added or any um, like sweeteners, artificial sweeteners. Kombucha is fine. Um, even if it's kombucha with a, a sugar, uh, kombucha is fine. Kombucha help, helps you have a healthy gut. Coffee is, yes, hello. Uh, almond milk, uh, most nut milks, but of course you'll want to read the label. I will include a label readout that I have crafted. If you have any questions on a drink, just simply text me. Uh, and when I say, can you send me the label? This is what I mean. I can't believe I'm grabbing this. This is not mine. This is my children's. But so life, I, I've had a lot of people text me like this. I'm like, you're so cute, but this doesn't help me. So what I need when I say text me the label, this is where I'm looking at. Okay. It's the ingredients. And I know this is backwards, but you get the gist. Um, it's not this. This is great. But this isn't where I'm looking for the nutritional content. I'm looking right here. Okay, so the ingredients list. Text me that, a picture of this. I don't want, I don't have time. I love you, but I don't have time to Google what the heck you're eating and look for the ingredients. Just send me that. Okay. Um. So alcohol, no. Nope. No wine, no beer, no tequila, no nothing. If I can go sober for six years, you can go sober for seven days. Tobacco, um, okay, so I know tobacco is a lot more difficult to rid of your system than alcohol unless you were like me and you're a functioning alcoholic. If that's the case and you're a functioning alcoholic, maybe we should have a conversation on that before we start doing like diets. Like let's do baby steps. So uh, side note, if you feel like you are struggling with alcohol or getting rid of alcohol, just text me. Let's have a side conversation. So tobacco, you will get up to 20 free tobacco points for uh, seven days, which is almost three cigarettes per day or three pieces of gum per day or whatever. Anything after that, uh, you'll have to deduct points from your day. A cheat is considered anything that isn't clean um, and it will cost you your points. So a cheat would be like, let's say you're having steak, a sweet potato, um, which both those things are approved, and then you have an ear of corn. Um, the ear of corn is not approved. Corn is not approved. Peas are not approved. White potatoes are not approved. Um, so anything like that, that would cost you your five points. 
Workouts, whether you are an avid body mover or you barely get your 10,000 steps in a day, I am going to be asking that you are intentional about your movement this week. Um, so whether that means getting your 10,000 10, steps in per day or uh, maybe finding some um, videos on YouTube, let's talk about it. Just pull me aside, just text me and ask me what does that look like. Sleep and water, this is also an all or nothing. So sleep, seven hours. If you get six hours and 45 minutes, that doesn't get your, you don't get your three points. And it's the same thing with water. These are things that are very, um, they're needed. They are really needed in order for your body to maintain homeostasis. Uh, and your body is going to be so thankful to you for getting that water and also that sleep, but it's also going to be able to replenish, restore, um, all the muscles, all of the tissues, all the everything. So those are really important things that you want to get. Those again are all or nothing. Extra credit, we went over that. That will be sprinkled in throughout the week. Food, um, I might make another separate little video for the food. Um, but plain and simple, eat meat and fish, lots of veggies, some nuts and seed, fruit, little starch and no sugar. Um, now the reason this is paleo-ish and it is not paleo is because I strongly believe that it is okay to consume legumes. That means like your black beans, your edamame, your chickpeas. Those are such beautiful, nutritionally dense um, foods that are high in protein. So those are allowed. Uh, again, maybe I won't make another video. For things that you don't know, message me, but the ingredients are here. So basically no dairy no grains the exceptions for your grains will be your or the exceptions i guess should just i should say is beans legumes and quinoa you can eat quinoa i love quinoa real food meat fish eggs vegetables fruit good fats like nut seed coconuts olive oil avocados uh eat foods with few ingredients and that you can pronounce and you know what the heck they are um no dairy do not add sugar of any kind. There is a handout on that, but basically if it ends with an os, it's a sugar. So um, read the labels. Like I said, I will attach a label um, info for you. Do not eat processed foods. This means those pre-mixed, pre-made shakes, processed bars, dairy-free creamers, any type of fast food. I, I, I will allow, like if you go to Jimmy John's and you get um, like a turkey sandwich that's like a lettuce wrap, that's fine. Tips for success, it's on here as well. We're not gonna go over all those. Uh, the ones that I do say to do is hard boil like 12 eggs ahead of time. Um, also bake maybe like six sweet potatoes. And as far as food ideas, we'll come up with another video. I will do that one. Now, let's go over what you'll see here if it can work it, maybe I cannot, I don't know. So this is the sheet that has been created. As you can see, like there's meditation, everything on here. Um, you'll just allot yourself points for each thing that you have done and the daily max points is 40. The one thing that I do wanna call out is um, this is your weekly sheet. Paige has created us a daily sheet. So each day um, you will go through and you will list out what you ate um, and how many points, how many, like did you do your steps? Have you done your extra credit? Um, and that sheet is also uh, on our Facebook page. If you have not joined our Facebook page, please do so. This is another thing that is going to help you be successful because we are all on there for one another. One of the most beautiful things that I learned from Danny is there is so much room, there is real estate for all of us to be successful. We do not need to hold back. Um, we need to help each other push forward. So my success is your success and your success is my success and I cannot speak more truth to that. So if you have any more additional questions, um, let me know, reach out to me. Like I said, it's, oh, I hate to say this, but it is easier to text. Um, I don't like the screen time. However, I can actually have a fruitful conversation with you versus an email. There's a lot of lag time in between. So um, this is video one. I will be coming up with another one with the foods maybe. Um, 
I don't know, there'll be another video to help you out, but it's one week. And a lot of it will help you if you just take it day by day, meal by meal. Um, and again, it's also gonna help you because we're all in it together. Like when I'm doing it, you're doing it, vice versa. I would never put on a challenge that I was not doing myself. I, When I was coaching soccer and I was coaching these little, I think they were 11 or 12 at the time, uh, I would make them run drills and they like hated me for it. And they're like, you would never do this. And I go, girl, how do you think I came up with these drills? I was doing them before your practice. I would never, ever, ever make you do something that I myself wouldn't put myself through. So at least there's that. Anyway, I'm excited to do this. We Our next one starts here soon. Again, reach out to me with any questions.